This is John. He's a photographer and he just found out he can sell his photos online and make money while he sleeps. So he's very excited about it and he read everything about it online, how to do it, what sells, all the technical and legal requirements and he organized some shoots and he produced and uploaded some great photos. Now he's waiting for his first royalty statement and he is disappointed. He earned 42 cents. But ok, he decides not to quit yet, put some more effort into it and he uploads even more images to stock agencies. But the next month again he earns 89 cents. Now he's even more disappointed. Did he put all his work, time and money into it for 89 cents? Clearly this does not work for him, so he quits. But why is that? Well my friends, it's because of the J curve. J what? So what is J-curve and why should you care about it if you're starting in stock photography and why it's important to know at which stage of the curve you're currently at? We'll find that out in today's video. Ok Luca, so what curve you're talking about here? Well, let's explain it with a simple graph. So on one side we have time and on the other one we have performance or profit. So the J-curve has its name because of the shape which looks like, you guessed it right, letter J. So when you start your business, in the beginning you're actually losing money before you start to make profit from it. There's an interesting book written by Howard Love called The Startup J-Curve. In this book he talks about the six phases of the J-Curve. Now this curve applies more to startups, so not all the phases will apply to stock photography, but it's very similar. So let's look at them and see why it's important to know where you are currently and let's also check where John was when he decided to quit. So the first phase is called create. Here is where you're all excited about your new business and you go out and produce some stock images or videos. So if you're smart enough you don't have to invest a lot in the beginning, you can just photograph your friends or family and use locations that are free like outdoors or maybe your friend has a small business where you can shoot at. But still you're investing a lot of your time into it so I would say you're actually not at point zero here, you're actually a bit lower if you consider your time as an expense. Now the next phase is release. So here you have to upload your content to stock sites. Again, your only expense here is your time. It takes time, especially in the beginning, to keyword all the images and videos and upload them. If you want to learn more about keywording, I have a video where I talk about that, so I'll link it up here and also down in description. Now, if you expect you'll earn money right away, let me disappoint you, you won't. Even if your images are very good, it takes time for the images to start selling. If you're interested in how images sell over time, I have a video about that and I'll also link it down in the description. Also, if you're enjoying my videos, click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. So yeah, uh, like I said, it takes time for the images to start selling, but you don't want to just wait for that moment. So the next two phases of the J-curve in startups are Morph and Model. So here the startup needs to listen to the customers, make adjustments based on the customer feedback and optimize its business model. But in stock photography you still won't have enough data to see what sells and what's not, so what I suggest here is just to upload as much diverse content as you can. Just try to shoot different topics with different models and just shoot as much as you can. I understand that it can be hard to continue in the beginning because you don't see the results right away, but I can assure you that if you produce a lot of content it will pay off later. Also, if you're new to photography, this is a great time to learn about angles, composition, lighting. You will also become much more confident in talking and directing models and things like that. So even if you don't earn much, this is a great way to learn and improve your photography skills. The good thing here in stock photography is that you don't have a direct client, so if your images suck, you won't disappoint the client. You will just sell less because your images won't be that good. But I'm sure when you grow and improve, your images will also become better and of course more people will be buying them. Now, our friend John was somewhere here when he decided to quit, but he didn't realize that if he just stuck to it a little bit longer, he would start to make a profit from the business. But unfortunately that little bit can 
take some time in stock photography. But eventually, when you learn, you will build your portfolio, you will get better, more and more people will be buying your images, and eventually you will get out of that valley of death, as they call it. It's pretty obvious why they call it like that. Well, because most startups fail or quit in this phase. And when you eventually start to make some more money from your business, it's time for the next phase, which is called scale. Here you want to invest the money you just earned back into your business. You can buy better equipment that will help you to produce more quality content, or you can invest more money into your shoots to pay for better locations to hire different, more diverse models and similar. Now what a lot of people do is they take the money they just earned and they buy stuff they don't really need or maybe they afford a vacation or similar. And I get it, we all like that and we would like to enjoy the money we earned but at this stage I think it's more important to invest back into your business so your business can scale and grow even more. And you will still be able to buy that stuff and enjoy it later in the next phase. Because if you invest more money in models and locations, you will get better images and videos, you will get content that will differentiate more from most of the content out there, so of course you will also sell more and earn more. And if you do this long enough, you will also be able to hire people or outsource the things that you don't like, such as keywording for example. Of course that won't happen overnight, so if you want to earn money fast, just forget about stock photography. But if you like doing it and you do it for long enough, the money will come. For me, it really is the best job in the world. And then the next phase of the curve is harvest. So here you'll be able to enjoy the benefits of your previous work, maybe you'll be able to quit your day job and become a full-time stock photographer, or maybe you'll just book that trip that you've been dreaming about. But also there's a catch here. When you start earning a decent amount of money, if you think at this stage you can just stop uploading and you'll be earning passive income every month, definitely check out this video here to see how important it is to continue to upload and until next time, stay awesome, keep shooting and I'll see you in my next video.